Hey, uh, welcome guys. Okay, so let's finish up this website by adding notification because if we add somebody as admin, they ought to know that we've added them as an admin or a moderator to a particular group. Now, if you keep, um, to keep things simple, we're going to copy what we already have because remember we have already added a notification for when somebody is invited to a group. So when they are, uh, where are those notifications though? So if we go to our notifications table and here, let me click to go to the end. So we have this uh, entry here, which says invite. So it's invite when somebody invites you to a group so that you can go and accept and do that. Now, the only thing we need to change here is to change the activity to, um, let's say, uh, I don't know, uh, instead of invite, what are you doing here? Edit access or something. Maybe we change it to access and then group there. I don't know what, what would be a nice short word. So maybe give you, yeah, I think uh, maybe, maybe we can call it admin so that um, admin or moderator. So the content type will remain as group because we want to be able to load that group. And then the content owner will do the same thing we did. The guy who is uh, the person who is being invited or who has been changed in rank. And then what about this one? Okay, I think what we will do here, we'll just name this as raw. Okay, yeah, I think we can figure something out. So let me come back here for a second so that we can, um, as we change this one to moderator or admin, then we'll see what notifications she will get, right? So if I click edit here, so that once I edit, I get the notification. Now inside our group classes here, where we say um, edit member access right here, we need to send a notification right about there once we finish this editing. So let's come down here to where we are doing invites inside this class so that uh, we can check what we did. So this is an invite to group. That's the function. And down here we're saying notify user of this. So I'm just going to copy that and see what we can salvage from there. So let me come back here and say, uh, where is this? Join group, no, 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 no. And uh, get member row, no, no, no. Edit member access, so paste like that. Notify user of this change. So let's do that here. Uh -huh. Okay, so here what we're doing is uh, row is equal to get group and we are getting the whole group uh, data here from our group ID, which works really well for us because we do have that over there okay and the owner that is the owner there okay and then add notification so here we are changing the owner uh, uh, column here as we did earlier to add the current user so all this is working out good for us the only thing we need to change is the invite here and let's do raw instead like so Okay, so the user, row, and whatever there. Okay, so uh, looking good here. Everything uh, seems fine. Mm -hmm. So let's create this uh, notification, shall we? So if I come here, all I'm going to do is replace the same moderator with moderator again. That way we see if uh, it's going to work out. So I'm going to hit save here, save. Okay, undefined variable me. Okay, so me is clearly undefined here because what we need is user ID, isn't it? No, actually not. So I think we have a terrible uh, record in here. So let me click there and see in the notifications table where we have a user ID at zero. So we don't want that. Let's delete that one. Now let's try again. Now, of course, me is undefined here because 
we haven't defined it so we can just go back here and copy what me was in our case which is this one so let's copy that come back here for a second where are we yes right there so me is in there let's uh, put it there like so okay so there we go that's me and yeah i think we are fine now so let's try and add that again so i'm going to refresh this hit save as moderator let's come back and check what record we've added go to the end and there we go so this record is uh, looking fine because there's raw there there's the content id okay and then this content is a group so i can assure i think this is correct because we have the same thing here only thing is a uh, different user there compared to that one okay so let's see where how far this one takes us now all i have to do is log in as this user here so i'm going to log out for a second and i'll log in as mary there we go mary so let's go to our notifications yes so we do have this notification here which says uh, so there's a name of somebody who did something okay and then there is your group so we don't know really what's going on here so let me click here just to see if this actually works here yeah yeah that works now this one does not so let's go for a second here down to single notification shall we single notification mm -hmm. and here notification scene okay 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 so what i'm looking for is this part right here where i'm looking for group but instead i want to look for row okay so i'm going to duplicate this section here up to there bam like so and then change this to row not roller but row and then i am going to copy everything that's here in the group section here and paste it there bam okay so now instead of going to this location we're going to go to member members because you want to see yourself as a member and see what role you actually play so members like that very good and that should uh, do it the only thing is now we need to go down here and change our language so invited you to so let's duplicate this part again as well Bam. and instead of tag here we have row mm -hmm. so this is the language we are looking for here so we're going to say changed your access changed your group access like that okay mm -hmm. no actually because we need group at the end so we're going to say changed your access to the like so okay have to follow this format here and there's one more thing here as well so here we are saying if it's invite we see to a group so i think uh, this works for both let me remove that there there and i'm going to say invite and duplicate this and put an or there and we're going to say raw because it works for both like that okay so case closed there let's check it out shall we refresh mm -hmm. so ethan changed your access to a group really so let me see what they did change click uh oh 
we went to the wrong place. That's probably because I didn't refresh the page. So now let me click. Uh, no, 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 no. Something is wrong here. It's still saying invited. So why? Let's go up here and check our links, shall we? So group, content ID, numbers, content type role. Oh, I see, I see what's going on here. Okay. So what's happening here is that uh, we are looking at the content type as group and activity. Okay, so there are two scenarios here which we have to look for. So this is my bad. Let me put group there. Okay. So I'm going to say if uh, content type is group and let's come here, copy that, put it here. And then instead of content type, we are looking for this uh, activity here. So let's come back and say activity. So now the activity should be row like that okay so exactly what I've done here I'm going to copy this and put it here and here it's going to be invite yeah why not mm-hmm so let's come back here for a second make sure that it's activity we're looking for here okay good problem solved let's refresh and click aha uh -huh. Now I can see that, oh, looks like a moderator now. Yeah, very good. Okay, so things are working as a planned, which is very good. Now I do get a notification. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I can get to see what my role is there. It doesn't need to inform me in the notification. I can just look for my name here and see what role I have been given would be nice though if uh, on the members here uh, I can have a uh, what's the thing here a select at the very end here so that uh, I only show a particular member hmm? which would be nice wouldn't it but anyway uh, this is good enough for now. Let me click back here. Go to Mary's profile. Click on groups. And let me go to this group now. Uh, where am I? My first group. And there we go. So I'm moderator now here. So let's try it out and uh, give this person access as uh, admin and see if they actually do get the admin access so i'll go to group my first group let's edit her access here and let's change that to admin and save now we can log out log in as a mary and okay so let's go to notification so somebody changed your access again click and there we go. So you can see now that uh, she is able to edit other people's access levels now because now she has that power. And she can also see the settings here, which is uh, pretty cool. So, and if we go to our uh, group members here, table, we will see that uh, they have been upgraded to admin. Okay. And if we go to her own profile inside groups, we will see that group there. Okay, so things are looking great. The only thing now remaining is for us to go through our uh, website to make sure that everything is working fine. And then we can call it quits. Okay, see you in the next video.